EA Sports. It's in the game. MVP Baseball 2005. Joining us at Minute Maid Park. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Wayne Kuyper here along with Mike Kruko on a great night for EA Sports MVP Baseball. On the mound to start the game, Roger Clemens. Welcome to Exhibition Baseball featuring the Atlanta Braves and the Houston Astros. Here's the game's first batter, Rafael Furcal. Just got a piece of that one. Ball. One ball, one strike count. Guy does not have a real live fastball. This is going to be extra bases. He's around first. That's a stand up double. I mean, he was thinking double all the way. They didn't even have a chance to make a play on it. This is a pretty good right-handed batter right now. He made contact, but it's foul. And on three pitches, he's gone. Three pitches, three strikes. Doesn't get any easier than that, partner. Up next, Andrew Jones. This guy isn't great against right-handed pitching, but he does all right. That's a 95-mile-an-hour fastball for a strike. That one's high and deep, going, going, over the shoulder. What a catch. That was not an easy catch at all, big boy. Great defense. Hit towards the shortstop. That'll do it for the Braves in the first inning. Here's the lineup the manager is sending out. Making the start for the visiting team, Tim Hudson. Let's check out the defense. Here's Greg Vicio. Nobody out. There's a strike. Swing and a fly ball to center field. Hit well. He's on with a leadoff single. That was a nice at bat. He found a pitch he could handle and got himself a base hit. First pitch of the at bat is on its way. That's a single. He finds a hole in the infield and just squeezes the ball through. Coming to the plate, Jeff Bagwell. That one's foul, but it should stay in play. Now bad 
batting Lance Berkman. Hudson balls behind 1 and 0. If the hit goes to right field, they may not want to run. The right fielder's got a cannon for an arm. Here's the delivery. Hit to the right side. Infield fly, which means the batter's out and the base runners can advance at their own risk. Next up, Morgan Ensberg. You won't see this batter hitting the lights out against right-handers. Fastball over the outside edge. This pitcher doesn't win games by striking out every batter he faces. Change up low. That one really missed the target. Spoiled a pitch foul. Ground ball pulled down to the left side. There's the third out. With one inning played, no score here. Stepping into the box to lead off the inning, Johnny Estrada. That's strike one. There's not a cloud in sight. What a great day to play baseball. In there for a strike. Hey, there's no saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. From here, it looked like it was making a beeline right for him. Oh, did he luck out there. Strikes out the batter. Hey, Kai, if he was able to get ahead in the count, the batter never caught up. Good strikeout. This guy isn't great against right-handed pitching, but he does all right. There's a strike with the split finger fastball. This guy's got three nasty pitches that he'll use to get a batter out. That's three strikeouts. Three pitches, three strikes, then get easier net partner. The next batter is Adam LaRoche. Here's a guy that understands hitting and it shows. He hits a slow roller out towards second. Nothing doing this half inning. Heading into the bottom of the second, the game is scoreless. That'll bring up Jason Lane. Line shot up the middle. Good start to the inning, a leadoff single. Stepping in, Jose Vizcaino. The pitch is hit up the middle. He reaches with a single. Another hit given up by Hudson. Coming to the plate, Brad, he tries to pick him off. Gets a strike high in the strike zone. This pitcher has three pitches he can throw for strikes, making things really tough for the hitter. And the first run of the game crosses home plate. Two RBIs on the double. He not only did he get himself two RBIs on that double, but he put himself in great position to score if somebody else can get a hit. Here's Roger Clemens. Looking for the base hit bunt. There's an out. Biggio will hit next. And the batter went around. The pitch. This guy has five pitches in his repertoire. They appeal to first. And on three pitches, he's gone. Everett takes his turn at bat. One man on with two outs. Pitch misses. He's just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. 
hit foul. One, two count. This right-hander doesn't strike out a lot of guys, but he's still very effective. The pitch is hit to center field. Jones reels it in. With two innings played, the score is two to nothing. Now batting, Ryan Langer hunts. Right back through the box. Hey, that's a great play and a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. He's aboard with a one-out single. Up next, Rafael for call. The delivery. Pitch misses for a ball. He'll want to keep that ball down right here to try and get that double play so they can turn two. Rounded to the right side. Safe on the play at first. Next at the plate, Marcus Giles. Over to first. Pickup throw goes to first. There goes the runner. Close play, and he's safe. Hey, Kipe, he got a tremendous jump there and swiped second with a little effort. One on and two outs. High. Two one. The pitch is hit towards second. The side is retired with one runner stranded. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the Braves trail by two. Digging in, Jeff Bagwell. Looks like he has no command out there in the mound today. Ball low. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Hit sharply into left field for a single. That's a leadoff single. Nothing spectacular there, just a good old-fashioned base hit to get things going. Next up, Lance Berkman. That's his pickoff move. Tries to pick him off at first. Runner on first, nobody out. One one count. Right now, the defense should be thinking too. The pitcher can really help out by throwing something low in the strike zone. Two and one count. The pitch is hit to right field, and he grabs it for the out. Stepping in, Morgan Ensberg. He tries to pick him off. And here's the pitch. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able to induce a ground ball to start, too. Pitch taken for a ball. Oh, that, he gets an opportunity right there, and he misses a chance. Oh, he should have crushed that ball. Two ball, two strike count. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. Three balls, two strikes. This past season, he had 275 with 10 home runs and 66 runs batted in. Hey, that's not what he wanted there. He threw a lot of pitches, and he has a runner at first to show for it. Now, now batting Jason Lane. 
If the hit goes to right field, they may not want to run. The right fielder's got a cannon for an arm. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. Mondesi settles under it, makes the catch to record the out. Made a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Must work. Here's Jose Vizcaino. That one's foul, but it should stay in play. And the inning is over with two runners left on base. After three, the score is two to nothing. Next at the plate, Andrew Jones. A ball. That breaking ball was ugly. That's a swing and a miss. Sometimes you try to make a hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. That one splits the outfielders. He's on first with a single. He really did his job there leading off the inning. That could get things going. Although he's a switch hitter, he's stronger batting left-handed. One ball and no strikes. Hey, partner, this dude knows the art of the stolen base. Let's see if he shows that knowledge right here. Biggio makes a spectacular grab. Kite, that's not an easy play to make at all. He really flashed the leather there. And he takes a, a fastball up high. What a number. Pretty good time to send the runner, and they've got the perfect guy to send. He's rounding third. A run crosses the plate. Estrada came through big time right there. Now, the skipper's got to love that. You drive in one run, and you set your team up to score another. And he just needs to focus on getting that runner on second home any way he can, and a base hit would be a great start. One up. He puts it away. LaRoche steps into the batter's box. Swings through a fastball and misses. That's not a bad pitch. It just keeps the hitter off stride. And it's one ball and one strike. That was a purpose pitch. Fastball out of the zone, hoping the batter would chase. Veteran move. There's a line drive. That's the final out, and we'll go to the home half. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the Astros lead by one run. Up next with a double so far, Brad Osmus. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Just off the plate, 2 0. Takes low. Three balls in one strike. Oh, I'm surprised the batter wasn't all over that delivery. It seemed like a perfect pitch to just crush. Kite, that pitch was perfect. That batter did not have an answer as he watched it go by. Good at bad, he worked the walk. Hey, meet! Make him earn it! Killing me! Coming to the plate, Roger Clemens. Giving up a hit to this batter is not Makes a pickoff throw. Squares around, and it's a bunt. Failed to advance the runner on that bunt play. You need to be able to use the bunt to advance the runner. That was a wasted out, a wasted ball. He's going back. It's short. He's on his way to third. Biggio in there with a double. I thought him carry as much as I thought it would and just fell short of the home run.
Stepping in, one for two, Adam Everett. Kind of the guy standing in right field has his share of outfield assists. Look for the runner to stay at third if it's hit to right. Fielder's choice, the scoring. Stepping up to the plate with a single already, Jeff Bagwell. Changeup just floated in there. He drills it deep and gone. Home run. Oh, just off his bat. On that ball, here. into the box. Although this guy hits both ways, the swing is much more refined batting right-handed. He's rounding first. A double with two outs. When he turned the corner at first base, he got the go-ahead from his coach, and it was see you later, double or nothing. Up next, Morgan Hensburg. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1 0. Pops him up. LaRoche tracks it down. Got a good jump right there, good speed, great instincts. That's what led to that catch. That'll bring up Ryan Langerhunts. Pitch misses. This is hit on the ground to the right side. And they make the play for an out. He's up there in search of his second hit of the game. Hudson takes. It's even at one. That was not a very good splitter, partner. Hudson hits this pitch to short. They get the out on the play. Stepping in, one for two, Rafael for call. On the ground. There's out number three. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the score is five to one. Stepping in, one for two, Jason Lane. Mondesi makes the play for the out. Well, the hitter just put too much loft on that ball, partner. Give him the fielder ample time to stroll over and make the out. So this guy can hit from either side of the plate, but he's much more consistent batting right-handed. He's on his way to second. Vizcaino has himself a two-base hit. Good swing, good hustle, and a little luck contributed to that extra base hit. Super job. the pit. Takes a pitch just off the plate. 1-0. and That runner on second is going to be going on anything hit on the ground to the right side. In that situation, the fielders need to get the sure out at first. Here it comes. Just off the plate. Putting on a good eyeball. 3-1. and one. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. And he takes the walk. Got behind early in the count and never caught up and surrenders the walk. Stepping in, Roger Clemens. Two on and one out. He tries the push bunt. Two outs. At bat with a double, Greg Biggio. No balls in one strike. On the ground. A 
run scores. Flips to the pitcher at the bag. He comes through with two outs. That's another hit given up by Hudson. The Braves call for a reliever. A relief pitcher will take over. Your attention is Brent Nielsen. Please report to the first aid station located on the lower level. Everett steps to the plate. Everett. He just missed it. A run comes in. RBI base hit. Stepping in two for three, Jeff Bagwell. it way back, way back, and gone. Wow, that was smoked out of here, no doubt about it. Stepping in one for three, Lance Berkman. Misses. Ball out of the zone. Close pitch right there, but the batter let the curveball go by, and the umpire called it a ball. And he delivers two and one. Two and two. Three and two. He delivers the pitch. Ball four. Ball four. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Come on, me throw it over the plate. Give your defense a chance. Now batting Morgan Hensburg. Laid off that one for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase you. Tries to pick him off. Hit towards second base. That'll do it for the Astros, but there are still four innings left to play. Score five that half inning. Here's Marcus Giles. Second baseman, Marcus Giles. Takes the first pitch high. Swing and a fly ball to center field, hit well. He's headed to second. And that's a three base hit. But now they've got to take advantage of that guy. Stepping in, one for two, Andrew Jones. And the delivery. Laid off the low splitter. This past season, he had 261 with 29 home runs and 91 RBIs. All this guy's got to do is hit the ball marginally deep, and they should score the run from third easily. Ball inside. Hit to the right side. One out. Now the plate. Next up, Chipper Jones. And he delivers. 
He goes the other way. He's on with a one out single. He was able to get the job done that time. A hit like that can really boost this ball club. He sends this pitch up the middle. He bobbles the ball. He reaches with a base hit. They're making their own breaks on the bases today, Kite. That was some good base running there to go from first to third in the single. Digging in, Raul Mondesi. And the pitch. Pitch taken for a ball. Splitter outside. Pitcher's fallen way behind, 3-0. Hey, all this dude has to do is drive to the outfield, and he's got a free RBI. And he takes the walk. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. I mean, he just lets him get away. Stepping in, one for two, Adam LaRoche. First baseman, Adam LaRoche. On the ground, cuts it off. His foot's off the base. A run scores on the play. The Braves trail the Astros by a margin of seven. That's the third run allowed by Clemens. Up next, Ryan Langer hunts. That one splits the outfielders. And a run scores. He drives in two with a double. Well, the beauty of that double is not only did he score two runs, but now he's standing on second, ready for someone else to knock him in. That's the fifth run allowed by Clemens. Next at the plate, Julio Franco. Taken for a ball. Misses inside for a ball with the splitter. Line drive, base hit. That base hit knocks home two. Pitcher really didn't do a good job of throwing that changeup. Slow arm speed, and he just saw it all the way. The Braves have two righties throwing in the bullpen. Hey, middle, let's stay tight. The bullpen is stirring, so he just wants to come out and give the bullpen some more time. Coming to the plate, Rafael for call. I like the timing on this visit to the mound. He got all of that one, no doubt about it. Hey, Kite, there are not too many ballparks that would have held that one. Rybowski is getting ready to pitch out in the pen. The Astros go to the bullpen. Coming into pitch, Russ Springer. Giles up next. High for a ball. That was a purpose pitch. Fastball out of the zone, hoping the batter would chase. Veteran move. 2-0 the count. Laid off that one for a ball. Three and one, a hitter's pitch. Oh, I'm surprised the batter wasn't all over that delivery. It seemed like a perfect... Forget about it. That ball is gone. Guy, this dude's so strong, he doesn't even know his own strength.
The Astros have a righty warming up in the bullpen. Now batting Andrew Jones. Swung right through it. It's hit to the left side. That's an infield single. The next batter is Chipper Jones. And he takes a, a fastball up high. What a no. We can see a steal attempt right here. They certainly have the right runner on base to try. And the pitch misses low with the fastball. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took a heater for a ball. And the count is two and one. Three one. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. Jones is going. The throw is not in time. Kyber's kind of almost like the pitcher forgot the run was over there. That's in foul ground, but he should have room. Stepping in two for three, Johnny Estrada. This switch hitter puts a better swing on the ball, batting right-handed. Looks to me like they're playing the percentages here. That's a ball. Last season, he batted 241 with three home runs and 15 RBIs. He's on his way to the plate. RBI base hit. Hey, great hitters have a knack for finding holes and getting base hits. LaRoche looks at a ball up high. There's a line drive. That's an RBI single. Next up, Ryan Langer hunts. Taken for a ball. Biggio will get there. That retires the side. Going into the bottom of the sixth, the Braves lead by two. That's all for him today. Malone comes in from the bullpen. To the plate with a single already in the game, Jason Lane. He comes up with it. Good hustle to get to that ball, and then a better job to reel it in with his glove for the out. Here's Jose Vizcaino. Alone with the 0 1 offering. Vizcaino goes to center. Jones makes the routine catch. That'll bring up Brad Osmus. He just missed it. He's on first with a base hit. Mike Lamb. Nope. Mike. 
Well, he was not expecting that pitch, and it was obvious by the stunned look he had on his face as he watched it go by. Osmus is taking off, and the final out retires the side. Estrada made a heck of a throw right there. He'll think twice before attempting to steal on that guy again. With three innings left, the Braves lead by two runs. Bringing in a righty to face the right-handed hitter is a good move, partner, because it creates a mismatch in the pitcher's favor. Up next, Nick Green. Lane makes the play. At bat with one home run, Rafael for call. Fouled out of play. Liner, he dives and makes the stop. They get the out at first. Well, not the best throw I've ever seen, partner, but they were able to record the out. Next at the plate, Marcus Giles. Kaipe had to be looking for another pitch. That looked really hittable. And he swings and misses. Kite, the entire essence of pitching in my mind is changing a hitter's timing. That's why a changeup is so effective. He just missed it. He's rounding second. A run scores. There's no way he should have scored on that one. That is sloppy baseball. Kite, the fielder's lack of concentration on that play directly led to that ball eating him up. That's embarrassing. Kite looks to me like he's starting to lose command of his fastball. Swing and a fly ball to center field. Hit well. Kite, he didn't get all that ball. The fielder strolled over, got under it, made an easy play. Time for the seventh inning stretch, Mike. Great. You hold down the fort while I go grab a cold beverage. The next batter is Orlando Palmero. Back up the middle. For call, makes the grab for the out. The Astros are getting their bullpen ready. Stepping in, three for four, Greg Biggio. Taken for a ball. Looked like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Mondesi puts it away for the out. Everett digs in. Hit towards the shortstop. He retires the side in order. With two innings remaining, the Braves lead by three. Today's game is brought to you by EA Sports. EA Sports, it's in the game. Lifts one to left. Good start to the inning, a leadoff single. The Braves have activated the bullpen. No outs and one man aboard. He leaps and makes the catch for the out. Those are the kind of plays that win ball games. This guy has been on fire today at the plate. He pulls a ground ball to the left side. He's on with a base hit. Did a real nice job of moving that runner into scoring position. Let's see if they can bring him around. At this point in the game, every run is huge. Line shot. Kite, his quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. 
Next up with a pair of runs batted in, Ryan Langer hunts. Two strike count. Didn't catch any of the play. Ball outside. And he's down on strikes. After seven and a half, Houston trails by three. This is a good move, Kai, because right-handed hitters have some trouble picking up off-speed pitches from right-handed pitchers. Digging in, Jeff Bagwell. Takes the first pitch high. That curveball is most effective when the pitcher's throwing all of his pitches over the plate. There's a line drive. That's a leadoff single. Next up, Lance Berkman. Fouls away the pitch. Swing and a miss on the hook. That pitch was close to the strike zone, and the batter swung right through it. And on three pitches, he's gone. Three pitches, three strikes. Doesn't get any easier than that, partner. Here's Morgan Ensberg. There's strike one. Fouls it away. Grabbed by the shortstop. That'll bring up Jason Lane. Grounder to the left side. That'll do it for the Astros with one inning left to play. With eight innings played, the Braves lead by three runs. They're pinch hitting in this situation. It all comes down to this, the final inning. Pitcher failed to execute on that pitch, and the ball ended up fatter than a Thanksgiving turkey. But apparently the batter was full because he did not take advantage of it. He sends this pitch to right field. And he makes the play. The Braves have some action out in the bullpen. Stepping in with two RBIs in the game, Rafael for call. Pitch taken for a ball. Well, this guy hit, the defense has got to be prepared for a bunt. Lines one the other way. He reaches with his third hit of the game. Fundamental hitting right there, Kai. He deposited that pitch over the outer half in the opposite field. Now, the manager may be trying to stay out of double play here, and based on that, he'll call for a sacrifice bunt. For call is off. Oh, partner, that guy had a huge lead over there. The pitcher fell asleep and forgot all about it. He walks him intentionally. They're just flat out scared of this guy. They're going to put him on and take the chances with the next guy. Stepping in, Andrew Jones. The pitch is stroked out to left field. Biggio makes the catch for the out. And he's safe. That was close. Out number three with a man left on first. Going into the bottom of the ninth, Atlanta leads by three. Up next, Jose Vizcaino. Outside, miss with the fastball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly. This one's got a chance. It's off the wall. He's around first. Runner in scoring position now with no outs after a leadoff double. Stepping in at a perfect two for two, Brad Osmus. 
Laid off that one for a ball. They need to move that runner over to third base right here. That batter needs to get a ball. He can drive to the right side. Pitch taken for a ball. He delivers. Hey, when the cutter's coming over the plate, the batter does not have a chance. Hitters count three and one. That was a purpose pitch. Cutter tailing off the plate, hoping the batter would chase. Veteran move. And he takes the walk. Kaipe showed a great eye right there. He was patient, worked the pitcher, and ended up with a free pass. Chavez is the next batter. Here comes the first pitch of the at bat. Taken for a ball. That was a purpose pitch. Cutter tailing off the plate, hoping the batter would chase. That's removed. He goes with the pitch and sends it out to the right. The next batter is Greg Biggio. That's strike number one. A deep fly ball should be good enough to score that runner on third base. He jacked that one way back and gone. There was no doubt about that. You can see that thing was out of here the second it hit the bat. The corners are close to the line. Coming to the plate, Adam Everett. Takes a, a fastball up high. One and over. Close pitch right there, but the batter let it go by, and the umpire called it a ball. Swing and a fly ball to center field. Hit well. Jones should have no problem. Made a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Bagwell comes to the plate. Kite. Managers love it when their hitters take advantage of a pitcher's mistake, and right now that's one unhappy manager. This game's headed for extra innings. Score three that half inning. Next up, now Chipper play. Jones. Chipper Jones. This past season, he had 248 with 30 long balls and 96 runs batted in. They got him! Innsberg made it look easy on that out at first, Guy. Here's Johnny Estrada. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. Lifts one to right. Just out in front, and he pulls it foul. There's a line drive. He reaches with a base hit. He didn't really do anything special on that swing. He put the bat on the ball, and it didn't get caught. Scored a single. Here's the pinch runner, Wilson hey, Bediman. Right we got to go to three on this one. And a strike on a changeup. Pickoff attempt. He keeps him honest with the throw over to first. Ball. One ball, one strike. They set that defense at double play depth. If he can get a ground ball right here, they might get two. Ball. Mondesi takes, and it's two and one. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. The count is even at two. Full count here. And he's going. And it's not in time. He got a great jump and stole second with ease. Stepping in, Adam LaRoche. Four straight balls for the intentional walk. Langerhan steps in at the plate. Two on, two outs. 
Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. He swung too late. He goes with the pitch and takes it down the left side. The Astros have pitchers warming up in the bullpen. Hit to left field. That'll do it for the Braves in the 10. In extra innings, the game's tied at 13. Up next with a double today, Lance Berkman. He snow cones it for the out. Hey, there's a good example that infield taking away a base in on a line drive. Good play. Up next, Morgan Ensberg. That's a liner to the second baseman. And he gives up everything to get that ball and make a catch. Digging in, Jason Lane. Kaiba, I'm not so sure you'd hit that one even if you would have swung at it. There's a strike, the slider. That is a bad looking swing right there, big boy. He's on first with a hit. Kai, coming through on plays like that can often be the difference between a win and a loss. That was a big time hit. Got it! Great leaping catch to take away a hit. In extra innings, the game's tied at 13. Now the manager's really rolling the dice, leaving that guy out there for another inning. Let's see if he can hold up. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. Fastball misses outside. He swung through the pitch. Kolb lays off a ball and it's two and two. That pitch just missed the catcher's target on the corner of the plate and it was taken for a ball. Down he goes on strikes. Hey Kike, you know every once in a while you just gotta reach back and come up with a good strikeout pitch. The corners are playing the lines. That'll bring up Rafael for call. Now let's see what the manager's thinking right here. Small ball or big inning? If it's small ball, the batter could be bunny. Well, anytime you see a guy swing and foul it off the other way, it means he's late. The first and third basemen are hugging the lines. Stepping in two for five, Marcus Giles. Hits softly to the second baseman. Vizcaino won't get there in time. That's some shaky defense and an error will be charged. That was just a bad fielding play. He took a bad approach to the ball and made the error because of it. At the plate with one RBI in the game, Andrew Jones. Line drive to left. That's the third out with one man left aboard. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the game's tied at 13. And here's the delivery. Misses up high with the slider. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Ball missed downstairs. Smith lays off the pitch high. Looks like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. That was a great pitch to hit right down the middle, but he couldn't pull the trigger. It's a full count. The inside outs the pitch to the right side. They're hoping that the pitcher will go quietly when he steps into the batter's box. Hit foul. What a terrific at bat.
He sends this pitch towards second base. Out! Giles made it look easy on that out at first, guy. Bruntlett is next. Bruntlett hits this pitch to short. And he's out at first base. Even though this guy's just one hit away from the cycle, that one hit is the toughest one to get. The triple. Let's see what happens. In extra innings, the game's tied at 13. And here comes the hook. They've summoned in the lefty, Mike Gallo. Jones taking, and it's high. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Better had no choice right there. Take it, and it's a strike. What a sweet pitch. Catch made by Lane. Been a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Coming to the plate, Eddie Perez. Chopped to the first baseman. He flips it to the pitcher covering. Stepping in two for five, Raul Mondesi. And the delivery. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Taken for a ball. That was a close pitch, but the up thought was a little too far off the black to be a strike. Fouled away. The side is retired in order. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the game's tied at 13. Up next with two singles in the game, Adam Everett. Well, he was not expecting that pitch, and it was obvious by the stunned look he had on his face as he watched it go by. Off the plate, outside for a ball. That was a purpose pitch. Cutter tailing off the plate, hoping the batter would chase. Better move. Looked like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. He hits one on a line the other way. Good start to the inning. A leadoff single. Right, they really needed him to come through like that. Boy, did he ever. What a nice piece of hitting. Next at the plate, Jeff Bagwell. Jeff Bagwell. Up high. Another pitch high. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy over to first with a pickoff throw. Count is 3 0. He goes to first. Three and one. Oh, I'm surprised the batter wasn't all over that delivery. It seemed like a perfect pitch to just crush. The count is full. Runners on first and second with the walk. Nothing positive comes out of this guy Nibbler. He's falling behind, he's falling behind, he finally walks late. Here's Lance Berkman. He crushed that one. Tremendous over-the-shoulder grab. The Braves have started up their bullpen. Kaip, he really gave that one a ride, but just got under it a little too much and just missed the day. A pitching change will be made. Here's the relief pitcher, Gabe White. Stepping in, Morgan Ensberg. He turns on it and yanks a grounder to the left side. That's the final out of the inning with a runner stranded on second.
In extra innings, the game's tied at 13. Up next with an RBI in the game, Adam LaRoche. Adam LaRoche. Swings through a fastball and misses. That pitch was in the catcher's glove before he knew what happened. On the ground. They get the out. The Braves are warming up a lefty and a righty in the bullpen. Up next, Ryan Langerhunts. One down, base is empty. Changeup is over for a strike. Yanked to the right side. Got him at first base. This guy, you know, really made a nice throw right there. That's a job well done. If this guy gets the bat on the ball, even a foul ball, he'll be happy. He's not a strong hitter. White taking, and it's outside. He rolls one out towards short. Gallo with an easy 1-2-3 inning. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the game's tied at 13. Now batting Jason Lane. Here's the pitch. That one splits the outfielder. Base hit to lead off the inning. He lined that ball right past the infield, and there was no doubt it was a base hit. Good bit of hitting. The next batter is Jose Vizcaino. Hey, partner, as a manager, i got to be thinking bunt right here. Give up a now to move the runner up in scoring position. He was nowhere near that one. That pitcher fooled him badly. Swung through the slider at the knees. Sweet slider on the black. It would have been a called strike even if the batter didn't swing through. Three pitches, three strikes. Doesn't get easier than that, partner. That'll bring up Brad Ausmus. Part of this would be a great time to lay one down and move that runner over. Well, he was not expecting that pitch, and it was obvious by the stunned look he had on his face. Pickoff throw. Swung on and hit a ton. It's carrying. It bounces off the wall. He's on second with a double. The Braves have some activity down in their pen. They're making a pitching change. Hampton is coming out of the pen. Next at the plate, Chris Burke. The pitch is stroked out to center field. The winning run scores. It's all over. The win is picked up by Mike Gallo. White is saddled with the loss. The final score, the Houston Astros, 14, Atlanta, 13.